Welcome to Makeup Muck Whoop. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, fall. Welcome back, autumn. I'm so glad that we're coming towards the end of summer. I'm not a warm weather lover. I am a cooler weather lover. And I mean that very seriously. Um, I know that it's the basic thing to say that it is my favorite season, but fall is my favorite season. It really is. And there's a lot of joy that fall brings me. Uh, I love the holidays within fall. I love the weather within fall. I love a lot of the smells of fall and the feelings of fall. I love it. Anyway, so I love fall. My nose is also itchy. So good luck with that. This makeup look you say, you love it you say. I know I'm going to talk about eyeshadows and we're going to, we're going to look at some of those today. I want to tell you about all my fall favorite things. The things that I switch over when fall gets around coming because there are some things in my makeup collection that I use only in fall and then there are the other things that I use throughout the year but I I like to I think of fall when I when I see them sometimes I'll do a complete burgundy smoky eye exhibit a in the dead middle of summer because I need those vibes I want those vibes and I love those vibes so typically y'all seen a lot of videos if you haven't click um on my channel I don't do my lower lash line today I did for you that's how much I love you so um the only thing I added uh to this eye look we'll, we'll look at it in a minute but the only thing I added was some glitter and let's actually talk about the glitter that I used this Mr. Mugwalk got me at the drugstore when he was there picking up something for me and I used this beautiful little thing just put it on my ring finger and just tapped it over and I don't see any fallout, y'all. I'm super excited about that. Um, it's a beautiful little glitter shadow palette. This is the Rose Bronze from Pixie. He got it at Walgreens. I didn't know Walgreens was carrying Pixie, but I'm down for it. Um, any excuse not to go to Target. I'm kidding. I love Target, too. Um, so I love that. That's that's an excellent um, little zhuzhure upper of some of your eye looks. If you are looking for just a little pizzazz, but not too much. I know I went all out today, but let's talk about some of the things that I love in fall. Okay, the first thing that I switch over in fall that I focus on in fall are scents. I am a sniffy nose person. I'm a person that loves scent, that scent does a lot for my emotions and my, for my mood. And so there are two specific scents that I, that just, they scream fall to me and th these are it. One of them is a Bath and Body Works scent. Um, it is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I don't love to eat pumpkin. I don't love to drink lattes. I know nothing about coffee. But this scent is my go-to for fall. And I have been so happy that this is this release this year. Uh, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte is fabulous. I've got the all the things. And so I use the body wash. I use the lotions. I use the spray mists. I use all of it. I got candles now. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, to use that. I do use, that's one of those that I use year round when I want to feel like fall, but I use it exclusively in fall, um, for my Bath and Body Works scent. Okay. The other one is an actual perfume and this is an old boy. This is the Guess by Marciano. And I don't know if, I don't even know how to get this anymore. I have this, this particular bottle was my backup because I went through one already. And I don't, I wear a lot of body mists and not too much straight on perfume because I don't necessarily think that the scent, I want it to last a whole long time. That sounds absolutely counterintuitive, but because scent does things for my mood throughout the day. Sometimes I use different scents. I sound like an insane person, but if you're like me, give me a thumbs up. If you're not like me, give me a thumbs up. So yeah, this is one of those scents that it is fall to me. I don't know the notes of it. I'll put them somewhere so that you can see whether or not this is something you want to smell. I don't, I don't know how to get it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a perfume person most of the time, but this is the one that I use and I use it only in fall. So I used it for the first time today and I like it very much. 
Okay, so my base makeup stays the same in fall. Sometimes I'll go even a little bit dewier on like setting spray or focusing on using my Radiant or Luminous foundations, but I can use either, I don't mind. Um, so base stays the same, bronzer usually stays the same. Uh, I might go a tad cooler on, you know, bronzers than I would in the summer, but I like the, you know, I'm okay with a golden look or even a ruddy red look even in fall. I don't mind. Um, I go a little bit less ham on bronzers in the winter, but in the, in the fall, I'm still going hard on bronzers. So I'm okay with that. Um, but so base makeup the same, but blushes get a little bit different in the fall for me. So I like, I'm a blushy person. I have a, the blush tag plus a whole bunch of other blushes on my channel where I swatch a lot of blushes that I like. Go check that out if you haven't already, or if you're a blush person too. But a couple things that I'll, I'll use, and I, these are the ones that are sitting out of my vanity right now. So I'll definitely still use like a peachy. This one looks ashy as I'll get out. It's not, it's just foundation from my brush. Um, I'll use a little bit of a peachy under, under, under blood, cream blush and then like as a base and then I'll go in with a with still with a peach blush. This is Milani's Luminoso. So peach is still a color that I will absolutely wear in the fall. But and then I'll still go neutral. This is my Pixie Sunlit subtly sun touched not sunlit uh it it's a bronzer but it is a blush on me but is a neutral blush on me so i'll still do that but the 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 real change in my blush is that i will go a lot deeper so here is a a tart cream blush in dazed and that looks really deep and it is and i just put my brush on it and put it on i'll go uh berry here's essence the blush in uh, Buffeting. I'll go a little bit, a little bit mauve a little bit more berry. And then my favorite blush of all time, and I love this in the fall most of all, is the Wet n Wild Zombie Blush. It's green, I know, I'm wearing it today. Gives a beautiful sheen, gives a beautiful color. It can, it can look like you've been punched in the cheek, which is a great makeup tip. Uh, <laughs> I love it so much, but I will, I will use that. I will go a little bit darker on my blushes, a little bit deeper on my blushes. That's the change that I make. Oh, another thing that I do, speaking of scents, is I, I will change out my, you know, what I'm using for my little lip smackers around the house. This one's an apple cider. It's got a little whipped cream top. Y'all look, I have used these up over the years, but I'll, I'll change, you know, I'll change out the little flavors that I got going on for, for the seasons. I know that's like way too much, but if you're someone like me, that's a great little one. It's so cute. I love it so much. All right. Probably the major change, um, is eyeshadow lips. I will get a little vampy, but I'll do that any time of year. I like the same, the same nudes year round. And then I'll get, I'll, I'll throw in a vamp here and there, but not, not much as, not as much as, you know, any other season, but it's eyeshadows where I go differently. So I've got some footage of me putting on some eye looks this past week that I focused on some, some shadows that I really love. We started off with just a matte white. So this is not going to specifically be about the products. I do show the products, but this is a caramel colored matte brown and it's a, it's a more warm toned and I put this on the outer edge and then into my crease, blending that up. This is, this is just more warm. There are many, many palettes that have a warm caramel brown. Um, I use a couple of different um, shades this week that are this, this warmer tone. So we'll blend that all over. And then again, I'm using a specific palette but this shade is very unique. This is the original Sextrovert from Natasha Denona. No, Pat McGrath. I'm so sorry, Mother Pat, from Pat McGrath. This is a burgundy shifting, kind of a, a, a brown green. It's stunning. It's a very unique shade. So I'm featuring it all over the lid and using my finger because that applies that color the best. I'm just praising because it's great. Thank you, Mother Pat using a small brush to get into my inner corner. I have hooded eyes, so I need a little bit of help to cover that real estate right in the very inner part of my eye because it's hard for my finger pad to reach. Some blending here. Most of these eyeshadow looks are fairly simple, two, maybe three shades. 
Looks good. Looking good, looking good. So we're going to take a darker shade. This is a, a more of a, a chocolate, dark chocolate brown. And I'm using that as liner. It is a, a very shimmery metallic shade. I will use uh, both matte and shimmer shades to line with. And uh, most of the time I'll just choose another color in that palette. So I've just lined with a sharp little angle brush. And uh, I use shadow as liner most days. A little bit of inner corner just to brighten that up. I have deep set eyes, so I need a little bit of help. Final look. Looking cute, sis. All right. This day, I used uh, some mustards. There they are. I swatched them out to make sure that they would give me the flavor I wanted. I do that some days. So I'm actually going to do um, kind of a mustard. Not kind of. It is a mustard look. And I love a mustard moment. So this is a bit of a darker mustard into the crease on the outer corner. Very similar to the last look. I do this look a lot. I just, a two shadow look is um, a go-to of mine. Simple, it's easy. If I've got a shimmer and a, or a metallic and a matte that I like, this is what I'll do on a quick get ready morning. Here we go. Looking mustardy. Yes. All right, taking it again on my finger, applying it to my entire mobile lid. And if you want to pair another color with mustard, some good options would be uh, gold, like a, like a, especially if it's an antique or even a greeny gold. I love olive and mustard together. I love a burgundy and a mustard together. So you can, to me, all of these fall shades kind of go together they complement each other and so I'll use them I'll use them all the time use that same dark uh, chocolate brown to line again on this day it's a good that's a great liner it's also a great outer corner deepener upper shade so I love that shade any kind of dark dark brown will do it's uh, a neutral brown so it's not too cool it's not too warm so it kind of goes either way Line them lids, girl. Line them. Looking good. Yes. All right. This was a leopard day. We had a lot of leopard on. Hi, Pony. Looking good. Setting the eye primer with a matte white or a matte cream. It's typically my first step. All right. Let's do a darker taupe. This is a, a shade from Laura Mercier. Don't sweat the, the brand. Just looking for a, a darker taupe. This is a shimmer shade and I'm putting it into my crease. I do it a lot. I don't have to have a matte. I enjoy a shimmer. And to me, when you blend out a shimmer into the crease, it looks fabulous. It does not look overdone. I do not. Also, you'll notice, I don't blend this all the way up to my brow, but I leave some real estate for the rest of my eyes. So I think that helps with the, it doesn't look like it's an 80s all shimmer up to your brow line kind of look. It, it looks a little bit a little bit sassier, a little bit cleaner. But I do use it. I use shimmers and creases. Blending out some. I've got a, I think I've got a little bit of a, a neutral brown matte. I'm going to blend just a little bit above that. This is a super metallic taupe shade. And this one's really inexpensive. But look how shiny it is. Taupes look stunning all year round, but I, I enjoy a, a deeper kind of gilded look in the fall. And so this one is a beautiful look to me. Just I just go darker in the fall than I go any other time of year. Grooving it, loving it, singing it. Lining a little bit. Yeah, I'll okay. Lining it. How does that look? Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. I 
put more glitter on this this actual shadow is in my project pan my fall project pan and I wanted a little bit more glitter it makes my lid look wet specifically right above my inner uh, third of my eye and I pat that way up all the way to the brow bone and I like the way that that looks. This shadow is Sailor from ColourPop. It's a super shock shadow, one of the ultra glitters, and it is really, really pretty. I like the way that that looks. Final looks. Nice. I use a lot of single shadows in this because I pull up in my single shadows drawer to get the the colors that I want, but I've got a whole stack of palettes here to tell you about some of the some of the palettes that I like during fall, um, specifically for the colors that they have. But I will say that this is not like product specific. This is just color story specific. So if there are shadows that you don't have to run out and buy these, but look in your collection or look for a palette that has these shades in it. These are the shades of fall for me. Parkour. So, a um, couple of shades, oranges, burgundies, deeper taupes, so like more deeper, darker taupes, um, and and I like a lot of shine. I, I like an olive green. So, a lot of different uh, mustards are huge. They're going to be huge this year. They're going to be huge next year. They're always, they're always a staple for me. But here are some of the palettes that I really, really like to achieve those looks. So, one of them is the, the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. This one is, and again, this is not like, I mean, do I love this palette? Yes. Do you need to buy this this for these colors? No. This is in a lot of colors. But these middle three, I mean, that's a beautiful shimmer and that's a beautiful pink. But these middle three are beautiful. It's a it's a deeper a burgundy, um, a mid-tone burgundy, and this beautiful orange shimmer. It is, that's a beautiful little palette. It does it right. Here's Huda Beauty. This is the Mauve Obsessions. This is a, I mean, it, it, there's some depth here. That is a beautiful shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I mean, even there, there are this mauve doesn't, it, it's a, it is a fall color for me I'm on a fair skin tone. This is not some sort of pastel palette. This is a, an actual legit palette. This is probably the quintessential fall palette. This is Urban Decay Born to Run palette. You've probably seen this all over and for good reason. It's an excellent formula, but this this palette is fall, even down to the olives and the, the darker teals. It's it's absolutely a perfect palette for fall. If you are in the market for a palette that you want to use all fall, all autumn, and you can actually use this year round. Makeup is, is your playground. Do what you want. But this one is an excellent palette. It really is. Uh, and it's, it's the palette that I think of when I think of fall makeup. It's the one that I go to all the time. But there are there are a few more. Here are some Anastasia palettes that you may not uh, consider. This one is the Prism palette. This was a gift from a beautiful, beautiful person. Thank you so much, Heather. This is the Prism palette. This did not get a whole lot of hype, y'all. And I don't know why, because that is a stunning shade. That is a stunning shade. Yes. I mean, come on, but the, I mean, it is, see, see all the fall tones in there. I, I, I love it. I love this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Another Anastasia palette. If you've got it, Jackie Ina, girl, girl, that is a fall palette. Look at all those colors. I mean, you can do pinky if you want to, but that, those deep purples, and I say deep because for me, I'm fair. These, these pull very deep. If you are a dark skin tone, these might not be as deep and dark on you as you would like, but they are for me. That's a fall palette, Jackie. Amazing. Okay, I've got a couple other palettes that I use. Some Pat McGraths. These little bad boys. Where's the other one? Come here, boy. Come on, boy. These little bad boys are, um, they're, they go on sale on her website all the time. But I used several of these in, in the looks for this week that you'll be seeing somewhere on the screen because they are, they're just, they're gorgeous. And the, this, this, I mean, these are beautiful fall shades. This is what I'm telling you. You're not necessarily looking for the specific palette, but the shades themselves. Y'all, this is a funny one. This is the Revolution Haunted House palette. Revolution palettes are hit and miss for me. Most of them I can make work mostly because I am fair. But this palette I literally bought 
for the packaging itself. I thought it was absolutely amazing. But it also turns out to have <laughs> some really, really good fall colors. This pink, there's no, why would they put that? Look Now look at the rest of the palette. See, it's just, it's gorgeous. So that's a great one. But so looking out for something inexpensive like this, the fat, the fashion fast brands, I doubt you can get this palette anymore. It's, it's not necessarily this palette. It's that you can find an inexpensive palette to, to, to hit that sweet spot for you if you're looking for certain shades. Um, I mean, the, come on. Queen of Hearts by Colored Rain, come on. It's so reflective, but y'all, that gold, stunning. These burgundies, stunning. I mean, come on, that is a beautiful palette year round. But and I, I y'all, I this I hardly ever save the sleeves, but jeez, Louise, that's pretty. Just heard Olimar Cosmetics is going to be at Target. Come on, it's absolutely gorgeous. The I mean these these teals, this this mustard, it's like a orangey mustard. Good gosh, this shadow, would you like me to swatch it? Of course you would. Um, that shadow is the most stunning metallic for the lid. If you've got like an, if you're doing an olive green, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a Target now, go go check it out. That's amazing, it's so good. And then I got another, another quick palette that Mr. Mugwunk got me a while ago is from Hard Candy, of all things. This is their Look Pro eyeshadow palette in Smoke Out. This is, uh, and so, okay, the glitters, no. Use those pixie glitters. But the greens, this shade here is like a marbled gold with a green. And it is, see how shiny? Actually, how, hold on. So, the, I mean, this is inexpensive, fast, fast fashion, fast, fast makeup um, that, you know, are you able to find this? I don't know. But looking for something from a brand like Hard Candy for around $10 will get you, it'll scratch that fall itch to get you those greens that you want to, to, to try, that you want to use in the fall. I love them. I love them so much. So, that there she blows. There's my fall favorites for um, mostly eyeshadows, but also looking at just some some things I switch out for fall. So be inspired. Go go switch out some of your things. Go switch out your body wash in the shower to something a little spicy and punkiny, or you know, change out your chapstick. Go 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 buy a new pumpkin pie scented chapstick. There's lots of little things that you can do to, to, to sort of shift your mood towards the crunchy leaves and the flannel and all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you joined me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please make sure to subscribe for more makeup videos. Thank y'all so much. Have a great day. Bye.